Please so stand as we pray the angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All together, glory, glory be, be to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now let us pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against the COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins, and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for these disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Nuestra Señora de Guía, Pray for us. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. 
Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Today is Monday of the 31st week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Danichi Hui. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, if there is any encouragement in Christ, any solace in love, any participation in the Spirit, any compassion and mercy, complete my joy of being of the same mind, with the same love, united in heart, thinking one thing, do nothing out of selfishness or out of vain glory. Rather, humbly regard others as more important than yourselves each looking out not for his own interests, but also everyone for those of others. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In you, O Lord, I have found my peace. In you, O Lord, I have found my peace. O Lord, my heart is not proud, nor are my eyes haughty. I busy not myself with great things, nor with things too sublime for me. In you, O Lord, I have found my peace. Nay, rather, I have stilled and quieted my soul like a weaned child. Like a weaned child on its mother's lap, so is my soul within me. In you, O Lord, I have found my peace. O Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. In you, O Lord, I have found my peace. Please so stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Oh uh -huh. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. On a Sabbath, Jesus went to dine at the home of one of the leading Pharisees. He said to the host, who invited him when you hold a lunch or a dinner do not invite your friends or your neighbor or your brothers or sisters or relatives or your wealthy neighbors in case they may invite you back and you have repayment rather when you hold a banquet Invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind. Blessed indeed will you be because of their inability to repay you. For you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. My friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. Our gospel today tells us about the saying, It is better to give than to receive. It is better to give than to receive. And we are familiar with this saying. Ano po? Hindi naman bago ito. But then again, Jesus made use an image of a banquet or a lunch, dinner, o isang handaan to explain further the meaning of this saying. Sabi ni Jesus, kapag naghahanda ka, wag ang mga kaibigan mo. Mga kapatid, mga kamag-anak, o mayayamang kapitbahay ang aanyayahan mo. Sapagkat aanyayahan ka rin nila. Sa ganun, nagantihan ka nila. Kaya nga, kung ikaw ay maghahanda sa isang malaking salo-salo, ang mga pulubi, mga pingkaw, mga pilay at mga bulag ang aanyayahan mo sapagkat hindi sila makakaganti sa iyo at sa gayoy magiging mapalad ka. Hindi po ba malinaw? Tagalog? Direkta? Sa pagsasabi nito, naispuntuhin ni Jesus na ang pagbibigay ay dapat walang hinahangad na kapalit. Because when we give and we expect something in return, that is not giving. What do we call that? Investment. Kapag nagbigay ka at naghangad ka ng kapalit, investment ang tawag doon. Yung nagbigay ka dahil alam mong may pakay ka. May hihingin kang kabayaran. Hindi ba gano'n ang investment? No? Sa bangko, di ba? Yung mga investment doon, hindi ka bigay ng bigay sa bangko ng pera. Alam mo, may interes. Alam mo, meron kang sisingilin at kukubrahin. So that's why, when you give, and you expect something in return, you did not give, but you invest. And when we give from our excess, yung mga sobra, it is not giving. It is disposing. 
dumaan ng bagyong paeng. Marami na namang mga donation drive. At kadalasan, ano yung mga binibigay nating damit? Hindi ba yung sobra sa inyo? Yung mga ayaw na? Kaya nga minsan, hindi mo masuot o hindi magamit. Bagyo. Tapos ibibigay mo gown. Ay sino magsusuot nun? Hindi ba? Oh, bagyo. Tapos ibibigay mo. Oh, Amerikana. Eh, paano naman masusuot yun? Oh, butas pa. Kapag nagbigay ka, out of your excess, it is called, you're just disposing. And when you give too much, some call it generosity. Ito yung pagbibigay ng higit o sobra. But, only the giver, only the giver could know if it is too much. Because, He only knows how much is left of Him. Minsan, di ba, tayo sa simbahan, kapag nakita mo, nagbigay ng malaki, huy, generous naman siya. Yung mga ninong at ninang, kapag nagbigay ng pamasko, huy, generous naman siya. Hindi tayo ang mga nakakakita ang magsasabi kung generous siya. Tanging yung nagbigay. Dahil siya lang makakaalam kung sobra ba ang kanyang binigay. Para sa atin, malaki. Pero maaring para sa kanya, mas marami pa rin ang natira. And that is not generosity. Generosity can be seen not on how much you give, but how much is left on you. Hindi kung gaano kalaki ang iyong nabigay, kundi kung gaano kakonte ang natira sa iyo. But when we give out of love, we call it charity. No matter how big or small, if it is out of love, it is charity. That is why Jesus would like us to learn to give out of our heart. Yung magbigay ng walang kapalit dahil ito yung magbibigay sa iyo ng kaligayahan. And this is what our first reading is telling us. That giving out of love would bring us not only to happiness, but joy. My dear brothers and sisters, only those who have experienced giving from the heart could understand the saying, it is better to give than to receive because it is a kind of giving that does not expect anything in return, but it is a kind of giving that God gives back in return. Amen. Please so stand. Let us pray to our Father in heaven that hospitality and openness to others may be, ex may be the expression of a deep and real love. For every prayer we shall say, Father of the poor, let us grow in your ways. Father of the poor, let us grow in your ways. That the church may be especially attentive to the material needs of the poor, and the marginalized people and provide them spiritual nourishment, let us pray to the Lord. Father of the poor, let us grow in your ways. That public servants 
may always be easily accessible to all, and that they may always seek the genuine good of their constituents. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of the poor, let us grow in your ways. Let all have a hard time in life, may encounter people who will welcome and truly listen to them. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of the poor, let us grow in your ways. That those who have dedicated themselves to the service of the sick, the handicapped, and the poor may have the true spirit of love and service. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of the poor, let us grow in your ways. That the dead may be welcomed into the Lord's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of the poor, let us grow in your ways. In silence, we pray for our personal intentions. We also pray for our kababayans who were affected by the typhoon Paeng. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of the poor, let us grow in your ways. Lord God, you give us everything that is good. Help us to share them with others, especially those in need of our care and attention. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith and is coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please so stand. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. November 1 is the Solemnity of All Saints, and November 2 is a commemoration of all the faithful departed. In line with the celebration, the schedule of Masses at the Shrine on November 1 and 2 is at 7 o'clock in the morning and 12.15 in the afternoon. The month of November, especially All Souls Day, is a traditional time to pray and visit the graves of our loved ones. A plenary indulgence is granted to any of the faithful who on one of the days from November 1 to November 8 visit devoutly a cemetery or pray for the dead. In line with this, envelopes to commemorate our departed loved ones are available in front of the parish office and beside the tumba at the left side of the sanctuary. The names of our departed loved ones written on the envelopes placed inside the tumba will be offered in all Masses from November 1 to November 8. Thank you for your support and attention. Please so stand. Please do not forget to pray for your beloved dead. Napo, sila po 
ang nangangailangan ng panalangin. Mga poor souls in purgatory. Poor kasi wala na sila pagkakataon na maitama pa yung mga nagawa nilang mali. Kaya naman tayong mga buhay, ipagdarasal natin sila nang makarating sila sa langit. So this month of November, whole month of November, lahat po ng inyong mga mahal sa buhay, sulat nyo po, atin pong mimisahan araw-araw. Aming salamat po. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration has ended. Go in peace to love and serve our Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh,